tight, 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 tight. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. It's Friday. I'm busy. Still working. Um, the vlog is exporting, and I'm going to show you guys a quick little red sauce that I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Why do you look so suspicious of me? Okay, so first I'm going to show you the appetizer I'm going to make. Both of us realize we haven't really eaten much today. So I'm going to make another hummus quesadilla in the oven. It was super yummy and I feel like I didn't show it well enough last time. Um, I'm going to start by buttering the bottom side of the quesadilla, kind of like how you would grease a pan. Not a ton, but just like enough to make sure it doesn't stick. So this time I'm using this Lantana roasted garlic hummus. It has a little bit of garlic and tomato and pepper on the top, so that'll add to the flavor. Um, I took probably like two bigger spoonfuls out and just spread it all the way to the edges. Um, not a ton. And then I just cut up half a tomato, put it on again like I don't want it to get too juicy, um, but you could put whatever you want on it. And then I will top it with nutritional yeast, red pepper flakes, and basil. Okay, then the top tortillas on. Again, I buttered that for it to be crispy and I'll bake it for like 15 minutes. Alrighty, now it is time for the sauce. I am using mushrooms instead of any sort of meat for it to be a little bit heartier, a little bit less tomato -y, honestly. Um, a quicker sauce, not like our typical family traditional sauce that cooks for hours on end, um, but just something that is heartier and it'll get us through basically until we go on vacation that and the burgers we're gonna eat. So I've started with like a half of a big onion, salt, pepper, and garlic. I keep on forgetting to buy minced garlic. So minced garlic would go better, but I only had um, powder. So I'm gonna let that cook until they are translucent. So now I added in my full pack of mushrooms. I think it was 16 ounces. Um, I chopped most in half. I even chopped the onions a little bit bigger just so it is like a heartier, chunkier sauce. Um, but I don't want the mushrooms to be huge, so I chopped them in half. And I'm gonna cook these until it's fragrant. I also added a decent amount of pepper at this stage. I want the mushrooms to soak in that flavor. Um, then this is like how you would brown your meat. Like you wanna cook it thoroughly, but not too much because it'll continue to cook while the rest of the ingredients are added. So while that cooks, I'm gonna slice this up and serve it so that we can have a little snack before dinner. So this is the part I'm a little unsure of. I'm gonna make a little roux. I just added probably like a tablespoon of more butter um, I kind of want to make this a creamier sauce, so I added in butter, and then I'm going to add some flour in, and a little bit of water, and just kind of make like a creamier sauce before I add in the tomatoes. So here it is all mixed up with like two tablespoons of flour. So I want to keep this stirring because of like the roux nature of it. Um, but I probably added in like a cup and a half of water, um, more salt, just like a handful of salt, handful of garlic and a lot of nutritional yeast just for some of that like creamier flavor. I tasted it, I, it would definitely be better with a creamier plant-based milk, um, but that's just noted for next time. It looks really good though, creamy, and I'm gonna add in the tomatoes now. This is how it looks before, nice and bubbly. And then I'm gonna add this big 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. This is when you wanna season it up. Um, I did basil, more garlic, and red pepper flakes. So I just did a little taste test. I added some salt and pepper and more red pepper flakes because we like it a little bit spunkier. Um, I have it on medium heat. I'm gonna let it bubble for maybe like five, 10 minutes and then I'll turn it down to low and then just let it cook until we're ready to eat. Okay, so I thought the sauce wasn't tomato-y enough so I added a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. The color looks good, it tastes yummy, so I'm just gonna let this cook, cook, cook on low now. Um, and I'll probably like taste it again before we eat to make sure I shouldn't add any more like salt or pepper. Um, but there's our creamy, chunky sauce. So here is my very full bowl of pasta. I topped it with nutritional yeast, salt, and pepper. Super, super yummy. It's still super hot, so I'm not gonna eat quite yet. Peter's almost done with work. And then our weekend can begin. Check it out. 
did uh did we say what we're doing today we did not oh so i don't want to jinx it because things are always a fluid situation especially as like holidays change and everything but last night after we left i've cut around 10 o'clock at night our park pass like became valid and i snagged the magic kingdom yes it All is right, 5 30. So this park closes at 7. The reason why Sarah's driving and not myself is because I was hoping I had a four. Who does this? Who puts off an hour long meeting at 4 o'clock on a Friday? I was hoping that everybody would be, because everyone was like, sorry, this had to happen. Everyone was sorry. The organizer was like, I'm really sorry this happened, but sometimes it has to happen. So I was hoping that everybody would be like, let's get through it and leave, like, get done with the meeting. So I was hoping to leave earlier than 5, but what ended up happening is I think I got out of the meeting at 5.02, and then we had to rush into the car. Traffic was kind of busier than usual. It wasn't too, too bad, but I did not want Peter to have to eat while driving, and so I was like, I will drive, you eat. And I was like, but I drive faster. I drove well. You did. You drove really fast and really safe. <laughs> um, so we were pulling the parking lot now. It's 5.34. My goal, my hope was to get in at 6. So Magic Kingdom closed at 7. But typically, unless they're changing things, they don't really like push you out of the park until an hour after. So me and Sarah may end up just like moseying around the lands for the last hour yeah. and not going on any rides. We might not even go on any rides at all. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we just want to go into the Magic Kingdom because that's what you guys know we like to do is just be. Pretty rainbow. It's weird. It's one of those Florida evenings where there's like not really clouds above you, but big, thick droplets coming Just down. Randomly. So we got an hour. Got in right at six. Right at literally six on the dot, I think. Yeah. So wait times aren't bad. I think we're gonna try to do a trifecta tonight. Ooh. I think I, like I, think I wanna do we're going uh Jungle, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise first. And then I think we're gonna try should we do Haunted and then Pirates or Pirates and Haunted? Visiting friends is more important than attractions though, so Baby pose. Yeah, they are doing a baby pose right there. Oh, congratulations, strangers. It looks like they polished Mickey during the closure. I wish I could have that job. Can I just be the person that polishes the partner statue? Yeah. How beautiful. Best joke in the entire one was some was one I've never heard before. And I, I don't know the, what was it verbatim, but it was like it was the African elephant. And oh, she was like, like, how do you the know? Fastest, like fastest mammal. In all of Africa. And yeah. She's like, you wanna know how? I know that. And everyone's like, how? And she was like, because it's already over here. Because there's a second one on the other side. That just that struck me. Tricky. That <laughs> struck me funny. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just do pirates. Because it's gonna be really cold in there, and that's a hot ride. Yeah, and then we'll see how we feel because it's 6:30. Yeah. I truly really think we can get this Anton done. Get sit in some rocking chairs. After Hanukkah. Yeah. Because it's fun. It is fun. They're blasting the music today. They said it's Friday, it's the weekend. Well, we got sent down this path. I actually like this path more because there was nobody in this side of the queue. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna get the first love in. Yes! Five minute wait that was basically just walking the, the queue. Uh -huh. Ah! Pirate! 
<laughs> they get you? Yeah. Now, oh, you scurvy scoundrels, do I hear ten? A hen for a ten. Ten? I'll give you a twenty for the rock. Shitty, shitty, shitty. <laughs> Wow, never in all of my days have I seen a Frontierland have Not so many rolling, what are those called, dust? Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Not with so many Might tumbleweeds. as well. I wish I knew how to edit or like anime and I could have done it right through it, but wow. Peter is documenting that Sending a picture for him. And family. Yeah, um, we got 15 minutes left to park time. So it'll be perfect for us to mosey on over to Honey I'd like Mansion. to add an asterisk there and say 15 minutes left of, of, of park operational time. True. Because then we're going to mosey. We're going we're gonna to take the Earhart Epcot loop and modify that for a Magic Kingdom mosey. We realized we did not come in here our last trip. So a quick Christmas shop and then Honey Mansion. 161 days. Peter said it smelled more like Christmas in here than at the Disney Spring Store, and that it added three years to his life coming in here. <laughs> I truly think it did. <laughs> the emptiness continues. And it's kind of fitting for the Haunted Mansion, you know? Yeah. Full of 999 happy haunts. Whoa. This is, this is kind of extra scary because I haven't seen a cast member or another guest, <laughs> you know? Look, I'm waiting for a cast member to jump out. <laughs> Not a single guest in the queue. <laughs> the happy haunts have received your sympathetic vibrations and are beginning to materialize. I still have my head on backwards. <laughs> um, so we missed like a torrential downpour. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Magic Kingdom is not as cool as Epcot when it comes to strolling. Strolling because they already had a manager. Hard close strolling. Yes. Um, they already had managers stopping us from going into Frontier or Fantasyland. Thank you for visiting us today. Look at that beautiful castle. Oh, they must have painted because you can't see the numbers anymore. Oh yeah, that's why this is all drained. This wasn't drained last week. And the paint by numbers are gone. But I like it. I don't think it photographs or videos as well as it does in person. I think it looks great. As we're walking, Sarah goes, oh, hold on. She had to capture this. Your hair's kind of crazy right now with the rainy storminess. <laughs> but it is, it is a sight, that's for certain. Ah. Uh, No luck. Straight to the hand sanitizer. <laughs> this is bizarre. I'd like to give a disclaimer that the only reason why I tried to pull the sword of the stone is because I saw a hand sanitizer right around the corner. But then I went to it and it was off. And every hand sanitizer between there and teacups was not activated. Apparently they turned them off. But I saw an attraction customer was like turning them off and saw me go to it. He's like, oh, do you need that really quick? I'll turn it back on for you. Like so I just tried to pull the sword out of the stone. Yeah. I have to sanitize. Yeah. So we were able to do a little bit more strolling than we expected. So we're yeah. finishing out in Tomorrowland. All right, since these people last second took our spot that we wanted, we're going to go to the other side. Because Sarah actually has a seat seat. Look, at it's our pal Walt. Mm -hmm. You want to watch um, the Sherman Brothers thing tonight, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. It's a documentary called Walt's Boys, right? Yeah. But we are gonna head out of here. Yeah. We're gonna run like hopefully one stop or two stops on the way home for a quick little project. Um, we'll it's tell you more about house later. A gift. housewarming gift. We're helping Megan and Katie move tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. Well, like they're already here, but like their pod of stuff yeah. arrives tomorrow. We're helping them unpack. Sarah's not. Sarah's I'm there for. Help in some you're way. there for emotional support. But it's literally, it's like beautiful. Now that the rain's kind of rolled out, it's like beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just the sights and the sounds and the... Castle? 
But it is weird to say that like it's already been closed for 50 minutes and look how bright it is. Yeah, that's weird. But it's time. Yeah, and we'll be back this week for our staycation. Our vacation! So. We're walking right down the Main Street, USA. It's the heartbeat of America, the, <laughs> the heartbeat of a holiday. When can you ever do this? Look at those two ducks. Duck, duck. They're waiting for our plaza reservation. Ooh. That's right, we're eating at the plaza restaurant I'm next pumped. week. <laughs> so this is just called The Boys, not Walt's Boys, but it's the Sherman Brothers story. That's what we're gonna watch. Ew. While Peter does a little bit of work. Oh, if you get a chance. Ooh, she's putting Hamilton on shot. Skipping a beat. You get a chance, watch The Boys on Disney Plus. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Bob Sherman, at the age of 19, 17 to 19, was in World War II in many different fronts in Europe. Of I course he so. thinks that, that Dick Sherman yeah. is like just his kid brother who starts college at the same time because he's two years younger. And so like when he came back from war, his little brother was ready to go to college and so was he. But he had been, he had seen like the worst things in existence. Watch it, it's really good. It's hour 40 minutes. It really puts a different perspective on like yeah. the Sherman brothers that you think about. Right, and I think it's so true, like, it was like a Greek tragedy. Yeah. Like, just like the friction caused the beauty. Goodness gracious, what do we, should we just go to bed? In a minute, I have to make sure my work thing is set. Okay. Are you guarding the door? Today is our nephew Grant's fifth birthday. Happy birthday, Granty. A person will be just about as happy as they make up their minds to be. Abraham Lincoln. World's fastest sign off because of Badge about to die. We don't <laughs> want to get a new one. We love you guys. Thank you for coming. Come back every day because we love you. We miss really do. We really, really. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's look on. Ah, it's getting up. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>